Pluto made them come up and down. Pluto's orbit crosses that of every other planet. Pluto, the bewildering little planet at the outer extents of our planetary system, is moving up further in the field of space technology. Continuous surveys suggest a potential encounter with Neptune, raising issues among scientists and space enthusiasts. Recognized figures like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have sounded alarms about the consequences of this astronomical event. However, how did Pluto end up on a collision course with its neighboring planet, and what could this grand encounter imply for life on Earth? Join us as we unravel how something massive collided with Neptune and how analysts have been left baffled by this extraordinary anomaly. Pluto, once hailed as an obvious planet, underwent a change in its status, being renamed as a dwarf planet due to its impressive orbit. Despite this demotion, Pluto still charms and interests the astronomical community. Recent assessments from notable experts like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have raised concerns about Pluto's trajectory possibly intersecting with Neptune, indicating an approaching series of collisions among these celestial bodies, which could have significant repercussions for Earth. Pluto's journey across the Sun stands out due to its unique attributes within our planetary association. Its orbit is surprisingly elongated, spanning many years. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to complete a full revolution around the Sun. Adding to its peculiarity is the particularly elongated shape of its orbit, a deviation from the more circular paths followed by the primary planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit deviates by 17 degrees from the ecliptic plane, giving its path a more extreme inclination compared to other planets. The combination of Pluto's nature and its curved orbit adds layers of complexity to its orbital structure. One critical point is its occasional convergence with Neptune's orbit. For about 20 years during each cycle, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging assumptions based on their respective positions within the planetary system. Delving deeper into Pluto's orbit, it's intriguing to note that it is not a perfect circle but rather a lengthened oval, more of an elliptical shape. This unique orbit results in significant variations in Pluto's distance from the Sun during its journey. At its closest approach, Pluto comes within 30 astronomical units, AU, of the Sun, while at its farthest point, it reaches more than 49 Australian dollars away, twice the distance of Neptune from the Sun. Moreover, Pluto's orbit is inclined at a significant angle relative to the orbits of the major planets in our planetary system. This inclination not only adds to the complexity of its orbit, but also plays a critical role in its interactions with other celestial bodies, especially Neptune. When Pluto encounters Neptune, their gravitational pulls influence each other, altering their courses over time. The complex dance between Pluto and Neptune highlights the dynamic nature of our planetary system. While Pluto was once viewed as a solitary stray in the outer reaches, its close encounters with Neptune emphasize the interconnectedness of celestial bodies, each exerting gravitational forces that shape the paths of others. In recent years, advancements in observational technology have allowed astronomers to track Pluto's movements with unprecedented accuracy. This has led to a deeper understanding of its orbit and its potential implications for the stability of the outer planetary system. Although the chance of a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune remains low, the possibility cannot be entirely dismissed, prompting continuous observation and study by the astronomical community. Despite its modest size and remote location, Pluto continues to command attention and interest among scientists and enthusiasts alike. The question arises, why hasn't there been a collision between Pluto and Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational pull from other planets. Astronomers began analyzing Pluto's path shortly after its discovery, and its trajectory surprised them. Unlike most planets that stick close to the same plane as they orbit the Sun, called the ecliptic plane, Pluto stands out with its steep angle and oval-shaped orbit. The mystery deepened once they realized Pluto's path crossed Neptune's. Despite these complexities, Pluto's orbit remains stable, demonstrating the intricate mechanics of space. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially when considering if it could crash into Neptune in the future. This knowledge helps us better understand how our entire planetary system operates. Pluto's orbit teaches us that even seemingly hazardous paths can adjust due to gravity and the dynamics of space. 
Continuing to study and analyze these subjects is essential for expanding our knowledge of the universe and our place within it. When we explore space, we find that things can be peculiar, and Pluto's orbit is a perfect example of that eccentricity. Pluto's orbit is not like those of other planets. It's more oval-shaped, meaning it's not a perfect circle. Sometimes it even gets closer to the Sun than Neptune does. This can make things intriguing because Neptune is also moving along its course. There is a slight chance that Pluto and Neptune could collide with one another. However, despite its exceptional orbit, Pluto manages to avoid Neptune most of the time. This is due to something called gravitational forces. Gravity is like an invisible force that pulls things closer to one another. So, even though Pluto and Neptune may seem like they are on a collision course, their orbits are carefully choreographed moves directed by the pull of gravity. Pluto's orbit teaches us that space is full of surprises. What seems chaotic at first glance can be a delicate balance of forces. By studying Pluto's orbit, scientists gain insights into the complex mechanics of our planetary system. This ongoing observation and analysis are critical for expanding our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Imagine if Pluto and Neptune collided, it would be a galactic event, sending shockwaves through our understanding of the planetary system. While we have made progress in understanding space, modern events show that we still have a long way to go. Focusing on how large planets affect Pluto's trajectory gives us valuable clues about how our entire planetary system works. Pluto's unique characteristics within our solar system, especially its peculiar orbit, have long fascinated astronomers. Unlike the nearly circular orbits of the other planets, Pluto's orbit is highly elliptical. This elongated orbit results in significant variations in its distance from the Sun, ranging from as close as 30 astronomical units, AU, to as far as 49 Australian dollars, which is more than twice the distance of Neptune from the Sun. Furthermore, Pluto's orbit is tilted by 17 degrees relative to the plane of the solar system, known as the ecliptic plane. This inclination adds another layer of complexity to Pluto's journey around the Sun. During part of its orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune. This proximity, which lasts about 20 years in each of Pluto's 248-year orbit, challenges traditional assumptions about the outer reaches of our solar system. However, a collision between Pluto and Neptune is avoided due to a phenomenon known as orbital resonance. This resonance ensures that Pluto and Neptune's orbits are aligned in such a way that they never come too close to each other, maintaining a delicate balance through gravitational interactions. Despite Pluto's demotion to a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union, IAU, its orbit and interactions with Neptune continue to be of great interest. The reclassification was based on the fact that Pluto has not cleared its neighboring region of other objects, a key criterion for full planetary status. Nevertheless, Pluto's intriguing dynamics provide valuable insights into the broader mechanics of our solar system. Advancements in observational technology have significantly enhanced our ability to track and study Pluto's orbit with greater precision. This has led to a deeper understanding of how gravitational forces from other planets particularly Neptune, influence Pluto's path. The interplay of these forces highlights the interconnectedness of celestial bodies and underscores the complexity of our cosmic neighborhood. One of the remarkable aspects of Pluto's orbit is how it reflects the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the solar system. The gravitational influences of the giant planets, particularly Jupiter and Neptune, play a crucial role in shaping the orbits of smaller bodies like Pluto. These gravitational interactions can lead to shifts in orbits over long periods, emphasizing the fluid and evolving state of the solar system. The study of Pluto's orbit is not just about understanding a single dwarf planet. It provides a window into the broader processes that govern the movement and behavior of objects in space. By examining these interactions, scientists gain insights into the history and evolution of our solar system. Pluto's unique orbital characteristics serve as a natural laboratory for studying the effects of gravitational forces and orbital dynamics. In recent years, missions like NASA's New Horizons have provided unprecedented close-up views of Pluto, revealing a complex and diverse world with mountains, plains, and possibly even subsurface oceans. These discoveries have further fueled interest in Pluto and its place in the solar system.
The data collected from such missions help refine our understanding of Pluto's orbit and its interactions with other celestial bodies. Pluto's journey through the solar system also raises intriguing questions about the formation and evolution of planetary systems in general. The presence of such a highly inclined and elliptical orbit challenges conventional models and suggests that the early solar system was a much more chaotic and dynamic place than previously thought. Studying Pluto and similar objects in the Kuiper Belt, the region of space beyond Neptune that is populated with icy bodies, can provide critical clues about the processes that shaped our solar system. Moreover, Pluto's interactions with Neptune and other giant planets have implications for the stability and future evolution of the outer solar system. Understanding these dynamics is essential for predicting the long-term behavior of celestial bodies and for planning future space missions that may venture into this distant and largely unexplored region. In summary, Pluto's orbit is a testament to the complexity and dynamism of our solar system. Its elongated and inclined path, combined with its interactions with Neptune, provides valuable insights into the gravitational forces at play in the outer reaches of our cosmic neighborhood. As technology advances and our ability to observe and study these distant worlds improves, Pluto will undoubtedly continue to be a focal point for astronomers seeking to unravel the mysteries of our solar system and beyond. The close by planetary gathering works show us that where every planet is and how it moves can change the paths of other things in space. Despite the complexity of space, a few top researchers are concerned that Pluto could slam into Neptune. This makes them wonder why this could happen, despite it seeming impossible. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prestigious space researcher, has some interesting considerations about Pluto. He believes that renaming Pluto as a dwarf planet not a huge one like Earth, is a step in the right direction. He thinks we are continuously learning new things about how things move in space. Tyson sees Pluto's uncommon course as a signal that there's still a lot we don't realize. He finds the mysteries of space thrilling. He also knows that large events in space, like Pluto's renaming, get people involved in cosmology. Tyson wants to help people understand the cool and sometimes strange things about how space functions. He believes it's important to discuss how space mechanics can amaze us. Tyson works with other researchers to warn people about the potential dangers of Pluto's orbit. Focusing on Pluto and how it could potentially slam into Neptune at some point concerns him. He says this could cause huge issues for our entire planetary gathering. A mishap between Pluto and Neptune could be an invigorating and serious event. It could release a lot of energy and potentially break apart Pluto. Pieces from the crash could fly around space and hit other planets and moons. Neptune might also feel the impact and significantly change the way it moves. Eminent theoretical physicist Michio Kaku, known for his contributions to string theory and science communication, offers an intriguing perspective on space exploration. He firmly believes that understanding the future of space travel and the connection between heavenly mechanics and theoretical physics can be gathered from studying quirks like Pluto's orbit. Kaku thinks of Pluto's orbit as a window into the future of space exploration. By understanding the complex gravitational connections and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, we can improve future space missions, ensuring safer navigation through the planetary group, predicting potential dangers, and planning missions to remote corners of our vast area. Kaku stresses that lessons learned from Pluto's orbit can be applied to exploring other celestial bodies, providing a guide for interpreting distant worlds. He frequently highlights the deep connection between heavenly mechanics and theoretical physics, emphasizing that the movements and interactions of planets, including the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are rooted in fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, specifically string theory, aims to unravel these principles at their core. He suggests that focusing on the intricacies of heavenly mechanics, like Pluto's orbit, can provide insights into the fundamental laws of the universe. Like Tyson, Kaku has also considered the possible impact of great bodies, referring to it in his theories about the universe. An accident between Pluto and Neptune, while significant in astronomy, could provide a novel observational opportunity, potentially adding to our understanding of string theory. String theory, which replaces point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to explain the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. Such a crash could create extreme states of energy and gravity, 
shedding light on the behavior of fundamental particles and forces under extreme conditions. Additionally, the gravitational waves produced by such an impact could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory regarding gravity and spacetime. While the direct impact on Earth would be minimal due to our distance from the outer planetary gathering, the scientific implications could be significant. Understanding events like this could enhance our appreciation of the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's unique attributes, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighboring planets, particularly Neptune, highlight the complex and dynamic nature of space. Yet, the universe holds many secrets, and the three-body problem is just one of them. Researchers anticipate other potential disasters, highlighting the ongoing quest for knowledge and exploration in the vast universe. Despite the low likelihood, there's still a small chance of planets encountering each other in space. This could happen because planetary paths are influenced by various factors, like gravity from other planets, which researchers call the three-body problem. In places like the TRAPPIST-1 system, where there are seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational forces create a sort of dance in how the planets move called orbital resonances. Over time, these resonances can make a planet's path less stable and could lead to collisions. However, in systems like TRAPPIST-1, which are teeming with planets, collisions aren't happening right now. Researchers keep an eye on these systems to understand how planets influence each other's paths, especially when they get close. This helps us understand how planets move in space. Sometimes, there are rogue planets that don't orbit a star and drift around unpredictably. These planets might have been part of a star system but got ejected due to factors like gravity or when another star came too close. Over time, these wandering planets can travel vast distances and might run into other star systems. However, since space is mostly empty, the chance of them hitting another planet is very low. Rogue planets are rare compared to the number of stars and planets with stable orbits, so collisions are much less likely. When galaxies merge, it can disrupt the orbits of the star systems within them. Although planets probably won't collide directly during these massive events, gravitational interactions can change how stars and planets move. Sometimes, planets get flung out into space, becoming rogue worlds. Other times, they might collide with each other or their host stars. These disruptions can also create new celestial bodies or form new stars. The late heavy bombardment theory suggests that around 4 billion years ago, there was a period of increased impacts involving comets and asteroids. This bombardment is believed to have occurred because the outer planets, like Jupiter and Saturn, were moving around a lot, which disrupted the paths of many smaller objects in space. As a result, these smaller objects got thrown onto eccentric paths, many winding up in the inner part of our solar system. This caused a significant increase in impacts on planets like Earth. While these impacts didn't involve planets colliding directly, they demonstrated that gravity could cause major changes to how things move in space. This bombardment shaped the surfaces and histories of planets in our solar system. It might have even brought water and organic material to Earth, helping shape our planet.